Hi folks, I'm Larry and uh, this is Chuck. Today we're going to be showing you how to hook up your emergency pumping equipment. That's right. You know, Larry, before using any kind of farm equipment, it's important to read the manual. You know, that's true, Chuck, in theory. But the reality is we don't have a lot of time here and I'm sure the folks at home don't want to sit around and watch us read a manual. So we're just going to get this thing set up. But the manual... Uh, listen, Chuck, it's okay. I think I know what I'm doing. Come on. Okay, the first thing you gotta do is uh, tow your pump here down to your water source. Now I'm looking forward to this because uh, if I don't say so myself, my tractor here is a bit of a speed machine. So we should be able to get the pump towed down to there in record time. Come on, Chuck. Hey, Larry, the manual says the pump's wheels aren't suitable for high-speed towing. Oh, come on, Chuck. What, are you scared? No, it's oh, not that. Oh, are you a little, a little chicken man, huh? Buck, 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 buck. The manual oh, says- Oh, come on, Chuck, be a man. Here. You and I, my friend, are about to set the tractor land speed record. Come on. made it and you were worried okay let's take a look at the pump well the pump's gone uh, but we made good time pump back dugout water supplies on the farm can be low for a number of reasons including increased demands prolonged dry weather patterns poor siding or the timing of constructing or cleaning dugouts now, we've had a few minor setbacks, but we've managed to get the pump to the right spot. I got it to the right spot by hauling it instead of towing it. Shh. Now, as you can see, I've got the pump running and ready to go. Hey, Larry. Yeah? Aren't you forgetting something? Is it your birthday? No. The PTO shield. There's no PTO shield. You know, Chuck's right. Normally, there's a PTO shield running there, but I, uh, I forgot it in the trailer. Well, we should go get it. No, no, that's okay. Uh, I mean, like, you know, what could happen? Don't worry. Well, this is the first time I've ever seen anybody actually wearing boxers with little red hearts on them. Shut up! Are those polyester or natural fabric? They were a gift, okay? The little hearts glow in the dark? <laughs> now it's time for us to set up the pipe. Each one of these trailers here holds up to a mile of pipe. Now, what are you doing? It's just taking off the price tag. Thanks. Uh, each one of these trailers holds up to a mile of pipe. Now that's 15,000 pounds when fully loaded. Can you imagine that? 15,000 pounds of raw pipe. Just gives you a charge thinking about it, doesn't it? You know, the manual says we need at least five people to unload this. No, we don't need five people. We got you, we got me. No, no, we got my dog uh, Sparky up in the cab. Hey, Sparky! Sparky, get down from there, boy! Get down! Get down! You know it's not your turn to drive? <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> oh. Are you sure you don't need a hand? <sighs> no, you talk to the camera. Kill some time. Uh, well, this is, uh, one way to unload pipe from the trailer. Okay, boy, you ready? You gonna catch a pipe, huh? You gonna catch a pipe? Good boy. Uh, the manual says we should have at least one person in the tractor, two on the trailer, and two on the ground. We have one person on the trailer and a dog on the ground. Okay, two people and a dog on the ground. Why didn't you catch me? Bad dog. Oh, my nose is broken. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, uh, Larry gave himself a nosebleed while demonstrating how to fall off a trailer, so uh, I'll take over for a while. Hey, Chuck, what are you doing? Me? Yeah. I I'm just showing the... No, 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 Chuck, you don't show. I show, this is my thing. Okay, you're a sidekick. Yeah, but you were hurt. No, Chuck. Okay, look, you, you, I'm Batman, you're Robin, okay? You don't see Robin taking over if Batman gets a nosebleed. He might. If Batman fell off a trailer and onto a dog. Come on, Chuck. Help me with these pipes. Come on. All right, now, the fastest approach to getting these pipes together is brute force. That's where you'll need a friend to come and help you line things up. Chuck, come here. Chuck, come on. I, I don't think this is the oh, right yeah, way. I... Never mind. Now, you also need a hammer, all right? So you can just really bang on that pipe. I think you're damaging it. Oh, whoops. <sighs> yep, the pipe's wrecked. Never mind the pipe. What about my thumb? Okay, Larry's just getting his thumb looked at. So while he does that, my friends and I will show you how to do this correctly. Notice how they're unloading the pipe off of the side of the trailer. Those drop down sides are heavy, so they're positioning themselves correctly. And again, we've got five men to do the job. One on the tractor, two on the trailer, and two on the ground. And we're managing to do it without a dog. Pump Bikes. Alberta Agriculture Food and Rural Development's water pumping program maintains and distributes a fleet of approximately 100 pipe and water pump units. Okay, I let those guys do the grunt work of uh, laying down the pipe. And remember, any span over 15 feet should be supported. What? Open your eyes, Chuck. Uh, this, uh, this pipe is solid. Here, uh, look, look. It's solid. It's solid. Uh, 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 I, uh, oh. I guess that's the, uh, exception that proves the rule. You know, Larry, you're lighter than the water would be, and look what you did to the pipe. Well, no harm done. No harm done? You damaged it. It's not my pipe. It is now. The manual says they charge you $200 for each damaged pipe. Well, that's good. There's uh, plenty of uses, folks, for some uh, slightly damaged pipe. Like, uh... I'm gonna go put some ice on my back now. <laughs> <laughs> Pump Bikes. Between 275 and 1100 clients use AAFRD's water pumping program to transfer a total average of 275 million gallons of water each year. Okay, now it's time to start the pump. It's important to increase the RPM slowly to the rate of PTO speed. For a mile of pipe, that may take about 20 minutes. Sure, usually, but we're running a little short of time, so we're gonna get this puppy started and just really give her. No, that's not a good idea. The manual oh, says- Chuck, give me that. Sorry about that. Let's get started. Sparky. Now, there we go. Now, we're gonna wanna get the water through there as fast as possible, so we gotta get that pressure up. Sparky. Larry. Chuck, don't! Okay, it seems to be holding together pretty good. Let's really get them RPMs up. Sparky! Larry, Larry, are you hurt? Hurt? You know, no, I'm fine. 
Larry, I warned you. Chuck, not now. But you've hurt yourself. Oh, no, no. Just an old football injury. Whatever don't kill you, Chuck. Make you stronger. Well, we managed to fix everything. My friends are just finishing securing the area around the pump. And as you can see, it's working. Pulling water from a water source. And pumping it through our dugout where we need it. Uh, Larry wanted to be here for the end of the movie, but uh, he's a little busy. I'm, o I'm okay, Chuck. I'm all right. Ah, oh, hey, listen. Ah, hey, do these straps have to be that tight? I mean, I, I can barely move around. I mean, well, folks, that's it. And remember, it's important to read the manual. Oh, oh. Unless yeah, you're an expert okay. like you just Larry. Of that broken pipe. Ah, oh, oh, that was my Thanks for watching. Okay. Good luck with your pumping project. Good night, folks. <laughs> oh, oh. Jeez. oh, are you guys trying to hurt me? Oh, ah. Oh, my glove. I lost my glove. Oh, God. Oh, wow. It's really nice in here. <laughs>